Hey everyone, in this video, I want to go over assignment nine. And when I'm done, it's going to go right after this sentence right here. Assignment nine is about writing a press release. And then you'll also have an opportunity to design a trifold brochure. The whole idea behind this assignment is for it to be a continuation of what you did for assignment five. And assignment five, if you'll recall, was about the creative process and coming up with an ad for Instagram, for PayPal's Instagram account related to whatever information I provided in this creative brief. Essentially, it's about targeting preteens and teens as it relates to their entrepreneurial experience. So this one talks about that a little more. And so I had you create a design that would be consistent with the PayPal brand while also addressing this creative brief. And then now for assignment nine, it would be about continuing with that project. Because in integrated marketing communications, it's all about campaigns being consistent. Well, you created the Instagram ad, and now you, there's going to be a press release that relates to that, and then a trifold brochure that relates to that as well. Part of your activity then for assignment nine should be to take a look at your assignment, five feedback, take into consideration any edits that I may have suggested especially as it relates to meeting whatever it is that you need to do to be consistent with PayPal's brand or addressing the creative brief and then moving forward with that. Because if you don't have your assignment five correct, then your assignment nine is not going to be correct either. So again, assignment nine should be a continuation. So it should be related to this whole creative brief right here. To help you with writing a press release, I gave you a couple of different resources. Of course, there's the textbook, chapter eight. And I mentioned how in chapter eight on page 154, there's a template provided. Now this template for a press release, or as it says it there, a news release, it's pretty generic. When I worked for a marketing agency, it was pretty clear that the press release was from us because it had our brand colors. And that would be the case for press releases that we created for our clients as well. And so for this assignment, that's what I'd like for you to do. So in addition to looking at this template, which provides a good start, Take a look at this how to write a press release article also. This article gives you 11 tips. And you know one of them would be use your company logo and colors. Well, that's not really in the template on the textbook. So my point there is use both to help you come up with your own press release for PayPal as it relates to the creative brief. And then there's also a PowerPoint file provided in the resource center. And the resource center, if you'll recall, is under modules. And here's that PowerPoint that I referred to here, the PowerPoint file provided in the resource center. And then just so you have it in more than one place, there's that same article right there that I just talked about, how to write a press release. And then later on, when I talk about, or right before I talk about the trifold brochure, I remind you yet again to take a look at chapter eight in the textbook, take a look at the how to write a press release, uh, and then there's that PowerPoint. So that's the press release part, if you didn't catch that. 
The next part is to create a trifold brochure, which should relate to the topic. So stay on topic. And this trifold brochure, I gave you the dimensions. It should be 11 by eight and a half. And I don't have it in the instructions right here. However, make it two sided. And just like assignment five, how I talk about the creative process and how you can go about getting inspiration from different places. Well, take a look at brochures. Think about the brochures that you've received from companies and take a look at how they approach that, how they use that information and how it can be presented. Because there's also a certain way to design things, right? If you're going to fold it in the typical manner that trifold brochures are printed. So the front of it, for example, would be on the very right side of page one. So take those things into consideration, I'm leaving it up to you to study that and see how you can create a brochure that you could fold in three to come up with a typical brochure. And as I was starting to say, take a look at examples, not just what you get from organizations you've received from organizations, but also do an online search and Canva will provide you with template ideas as well. I mentioned Canva because at this point we've used it. However, I do say in the instructions that you could use other platforms as well. So you could do Adobe if you have access to that, or if you know how to use that, you could also use Microsoft or Google, and you can even do paper and pencil to sketch your ideas. And then I point you to resources for images. If you're looking for images that you want to use for this brochure and keep in mind as you're working on this brochure, the PayPal brand, whatever typical images they use, the fonts that they use, the colors that they use. And when you're done, you'll have two things to submit your press release in word format and then your trifold brochure with the relevant information and graphics to support the message. Uh, that'll be in a format of your choosing, provided that I can use it or uh, open it. And then here's the rubric to refer to how you could get the most points for your efforts. All right, that's assignment nine. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions.